Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Just apologies in advance if I'm a little bit snuffly. Something has set my allergies off and I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, but definitely very um, snuffly. So I'll try and keep it to a minimum, but just apologies in advance. Um, I'm going to be putting down our cards for this week. I just wanted to quickly show you my new little Moon Galaxy lamp. Got that in the Black Friday sale. So that was a bargain. I think I only paid about £10 for it. It's really cute. Um, I've already got a big moon one of the same sort of thing. But I just thought that was really pretty. So treat myself. So let's have a little look and see what we've got with the Faulkner black and white deck for today. Well, for next week. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So first card out of the out of the traps is strength so i think we can expect to see um that kind of energy where you just got to keep doing it you know you've just got to keep on keeping on if that makes sense um i think you know i've heard a lot of people say um we're all kind of fed up with this whole scenario that we're in at the moment um but we just got to dig in and you know now it sounds really um obvious but we just have to keep on doing what we can do and 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 kind of nurture each other look after each other um i do think we've got a kind of a bit of a polarized um society at the moment with you know people that are you know really anti what's happening and others that are kind of really scared and so it's it's a difficult energy but um i think if we just bear in mind that um what we need to be doing is loving ourselves and each other kind of can't go far wrong with that energy um it's about that isn't it it's about being able to um stay strong and have that good in that good strong inner core strength um but to be mindful and to be gentle with that strength because what strength often talks about is a bit like the iron hand in the velvet glove to me so very gentle um but actually very strong within um so that feels like the energy that we're starting the week with. My other tarot deck that I'm going to carry on using just for this week is the Shadowlands um, deck. Last week of November, so I thought I'll I'll give my I'll give my spooky deck one last outing um, before I move on to something more Christmassy. I have bought myself a um, a I can't think of the word um, a majors only um christmas deck but i'm waiting for that to arrive at the moment it hasn't arrived so hopefully before next week we'll be able to have a, a play with that and use that um if not i'll have a hunt through I'll, I'll probably use that medieval europe tarot as well um because that feels quite christmassy to me so um we'll have a look and see what we've got for next week but i thought as this is last week in november i'll just give my spooky deck one more outing um and see what it has for us well, i'm just going to use that because one has just jumped out so that is the one i will use oh my goodness well you couldn't make it up really could you <laughs> honestly i've been doing this a long time now and i've been working with cards a long time working with spirit a long time and, and sometimes it still gets me it's still there's still a moment where i just think what um so anyway there we are strength seriously you couldn't make it up so i'm reiterating that message that inner strength that inner core i always think with the eight and also um in this particular deck it's more obvious because of the way that the eight is written i'll show you look how like the infinity sign that is um so there's an energy of sustainability and an energy of um things being infinite um and i know a lot of us are feeling like the scenario we're in feels pretty infinite it isn't that isn't what that message is what that message is is you have to stay strong and always stay strong you have infinite strength you have infinite inner strength that you can pull on to get you through what is going on in the world um i tell you what i'm really really drawn to um 
and I'm not usually with this card so this is obviously for for now it's this little flower that is still growing in amongst the kind of barren bit of landscape here um so really really um fabulous energy that talks about kind of having endurance and being able to endure what we need to endure and to move forward so you know there's hope in there there is hope it might be a little tiny sprig of a flower but hope it is nevertheless so i love that absolutely fabulous messages there from the tarot excuse me let's just have a little look and see what our oracle card has for us today I'm going to use these um, Avalon, Miss of Avalon Oracle. Just have a little look and see what we've got. We have Fairy. So this is talking about nature's magic, playfulness, guardians and protection. So I think what I feel really drawn to with that is the nature's magic. Just because we have this little flower here. Um, and I do think that sometimes when we are in situations that are difficult um, and that are requiring that strength for us to get through, we can be really inspirational to look at nature and to look at how nature will find a way. Um, if you think about things like um, when you're kind of wandering about and, you you know, you, you're in a built up area and it might just be concrete everywhere. What you will find, though, is that there are little weeds poking through in between the concrete slabs or, you know, um, along the side of buildings quite often you'll see there's this little moss growing um so nature finds a way you know it will find a way to um to get to where it needs to to be able to search out the light and also you think about like a sunflower the way they they their head kind of moves and follows the light around it's like you know nature just finds a way to survive you think about the fox you know the fox excuse me um has survived because it, where it is you know we've kind of we've kind of encroached on its on its habitat the fox has adapted and it lives in the city center quite happily now um so you know it, it's adaptability and all of that kind of energy that comes in with that particular flower that's what i feel like i'm drawn to with that but also the playfulness you know strength is quite a serious card um situations can be draining on us and if we can find a way to be playful and to have some fun um so much the better it will help us to get through the tougher times um so yeah i feel like that's the message that i'm getting there just a quickie um i'll just show you this because i know people do like to see them i'm just going to show you merlin so sleepy so cute um i'm not quite sure where chinook is at the moment i think he's wandering around somewhere probably eating and chuck but let's have a look and see what brian's deck has for us today okay i'm just gonna have a little swig of my tea before i talk about this one okay so what Brian is saying is best foot forward. So it says you create your own luck, you know, dust yourself down, pull up your socks and paint a smile on it. All will be fine. So again, I, that, that I feel is, is about strength too, you know, that ability to just keep going. It's like I said, keep on keeping on. Um, that was a favourite thing my nan used to say. But it is true. We just do have to keep moving forward. Even if we're taking little baby steps, even if it's a tiny little bit of progress, celebrate that, you know, be playful with that, have fun with that and allow yourself to kind of um, celebrate your successes and to move forward um, in that energy. Uh, we, we, we as humans, I don't even know why I'm being drawn to say this, but 
we have human as humans on the whole um tend to be very very good at beating ourselves up for our failures or what we think are our failures um and not so great at celebrating our successes in fact when people do celebrate their successes we can look at them and think they're being arrogant um and sometimes they are but you know we can look at we can look at that as not a great quality to have somebody who stands up and says i'm really great at this i'm really good at it um something in that that makes us uncomfortable um but it's important to be able to do that and to just i don't mean brag i don't mean be arrogant i mean believe in yourself and really celebrating your victories because at the moment we're living in an environment where our victories are quite small um on the whole so why not celebrate the ones that we have i would say so that i feel is what we're looking at for next week um thank you very much for watching if you wouldn't mind if you've enjoyed the video of course um giving it a like or a thumbs up because that costs absolutely nothing and it will really help my channel to be seen on youtube um if you like this sort of thing please have a little subscribe share it with anybody that you think might be interested i would be really grateful for that thank you very much and have a wonderful week and i'll see you again soon bye for now